What's up, YouTube? Set up our fall. I'm back here with the brute force only edited clip taken from my bigger all things Borderlands how to video. I'm gonna be making a bunch of shorter edited and most importantly voiced over in those awesome parts uh, out of those videos to save time for anyone looking for a specific topic. As always, I'm set up our fall. You keep watching, I'll keep them coming. It's like a zip file, like all my the rest of them. Right click on it. I use Uni Extract, which is free. Uni Extract here, or 7-Zip, which is free. To Extract here, just extract the folder, which is going to put it on my other desktop. And the only two folders it's going to give you is Brute Force Installer and the uh, uh, MS VBVM50 right here. There it is. There's that one. That's your VB Runtime and which is necessary and this most people see plus plus if you've ever run windows update is already up to date if it's not just go to microsoft update your c plus plus we should be fine um i mean it's almost ridiculous not to have c plus plus updated anymore um on the installer when you go to run it because a lot of times people just install it and then they try to run it and they're having issues it doesn't show up all the files blah 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 i have it set that way when i first double click on it and it opens up and i got to bring it back over there because i brought it over here It'll show a folder and, okay, it's doing it now, but it'll show like two folders here and I'll hit refresh and it won't work and I'll try to decrypt. Things don't work. I think I already had it open. Um, but when you install it or you can right click, run as administrator, it's the first thing you should always do with brute force. It makes everything work and everything run better. That being said, when you install it, the way to not have to do that every time you want to open it is on the installer, go to properties. And this works for any application, not just this one. Go to compatibility, change for all users. See, I've already done it on mine, that's why. And run this program as administrator. And then click OK. OK. And then when you install it, it will install the whole program with administrative privileges so you won't have to do it again. And then on this one, you just simply double click and it'll ask you if you want to, uh, right here, it'll ask you if you want to install the VB runtime. So I'm not going to because I already have. So since, you know, just to make sure, run as administrator. Here we go with brute force. All right, now right off the bat, mine picks up desktop because I have it set to that. Um, up here, you have your profile that you can set over here, which I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, let me bring up my text for submenu since it keeps, when I right click on stuff, it brings me to uh, the... Um, there it is. To, when I right click on something, it brings it to my other screen for some reason so you guys can't see it. So I'm going to bring this over here. That's my list. All right. Now, when I right click on this, it shows up, oops, it shows up on the left side of my screen, but it looks like this right here. All the way down to verify PD, PFD right there. Oops, sorry, sorry. Damn, computer. All right, so when you right click on it, this is what comes up. Decrypt all files, rebuild, partial rebuild, full, brute force a file. Brute force a file is for when it comes up and you, tr you click on it and decrypt is not lit up, so you can't click decrypt for that file. Then you, uh, you can brute force it with F6 or just don't, you know click on it and then click brute force with right click. Uh, uh, the rest are pretty simple. Uh, decrypt all files in a Blah, blah, change title ID region, open folder location, download latest game config settings. Latest game config automatically does it if you have your program set to auto update. Delete the selected save, unlock for any PS3, unlock with rebugs fake account. Update account ID and copy the param. Remove copy protection. Decrypt the PFD. Now, a PFD file is simply inside each save you look at with, with these uh, PS3. Uh, and that is their way of encrypting the param.sfo file is with a PFD attachment file. It's basically a carbon copy just encrypted, and it's their way of encrypting stuff. Edit cheats, which you can download cheats, especially if you have custom firmware. Open patch file and text editor, or hex editor, either one. Open patch file and patch creator, which means you can mess around and try to create your own patches for games, letting you do stuff if you feel like really messing with their games. And then verify the PFD file to make sure it's encrypted right. Um, all of these are pretty much useless, with the exception of the unlock for any PS3 and unlock with Rebug's fake account. 
because uh, that's how you make one blank as you see some of mine are blank and some of them are not like uh, this is my normal save right here this is what all my saves look like it looks like that profile right there now if you want to set a profile up here to rebuild any blank profile somebody else's it's called resigning also uh, you can go to set profile and when you click on it mine doesn't show it to you but it looks like set profile right here user profile one user profile two three four five edit global settings configure current param as temp um, I'm going to click set profile I need to raise this up sorry raise that up click set profile and then under the uh, uh, use current param as template uh, should say configure profiles that's the one we need. I've skipped one, sorry. Configure profiles. This is the one we need right here. Okay? Configuring profiles allows you to, uh, uh, it'll open up a sub box saying set param for one, two, three, four, five. Set param for profile one. It'll ask you which folder you want to use it from. Find the save that you know is yours, that you just created, or that you've used all the time, that you know is your save. Click on it, and it'll ask if you want to use that param SFO as the parameter, and then it'll come up as profile one. So that when you go to set profile, you can just click use profile one at the top, and then it'll automatically put profile one up here or rebuild based on that. So when you want to resign, you come to rebuild, click on rebuild not it cannot be decrypted it won't even light up if it's decrypted we haven't even gotten to the decrypted part yet rebuild uh, comes up with three things rebuild partial right here rebuild full and verify key so any any one of these is pretty self-explanatory um, rebuild partial is what you do to rebuild a ps3 save always you don't have to do full um, I'm sorry full sorry full um, when you encrypt, you, you encrypt partial. Wait a minute. Sorry. It's really late here. Uh, okay. Long dinner with Thanksgiving. <sighs> We're going to go to blank. Rebuild. Yeah, full. My bad. Rebuild full is definitely what you want to do. Click on rebuild full. It says, do you want to update the program with my profile, me? I say yes. And it rebuilds that profile with me just like all the rest of mine. Now I can just put it in there and my computer, my PS3 will recognize it anyways. Blank ones do the same thing. But when you want to make one blank, you right click on it. You go to the, what I showed you earlier on here, the unlock with Rebug's fake account first. Then unlock it for any PS3. Now I know it's kind of an extra step for this one, but it works every time. I was having issues before I started doing that. Once I started doing that, it worked every time. So just, you know through personal try and error, you can use that or not. Um, verify PFD, pretty simple. Uh, okay, now, when you want to open one in Gibbs, we'll use uh, desktop, just regular old, uh, where am I looking at? There we are. I don't have anything but that, okay. So we'll go to how to set up BLUS savey. It's my jack, I think. And we'll decrypt it. And it says decrypt all files or decrypt selected files. You click all. Yes. Bob's your uncle. It's decrypted. Now when you're ready to do it, you do update. And it'll ask you partial, partial update with game setting or full. On update, you do partial. Update is partial. Rebuild is full. Because all you need, because you don't want to update full, because updating updates the uh, payload and the PFD, and you don't want to do that. You're only messing with the param. So now that we've got one decrypted, savey, which is on my desktop in a subfolder of how to set up, as you can see here. There it is. So um, when you go into Oh, nope, I did skip something. I'm sorry. I skipped something. Patch SFO. We got to go to Patch SFO. When you go to Patch SFO, this is, uh, and right click on it, it brings up this right there. From here to here. Patch SFO. Brings up those. Uh, 
change title ID region is how you change from BLUS to BLES. All you do is click on change title ID region. It'll ask you to what to fill in exactly this BLES instead of the BLUS number. You fill in this. It makes a completely separate file already decrypted and ready to go. And then it just you, you re-encrypt it and it's ready to go for England with that one or wherever region you put it in. Um, edit the param.sfo allows you to edit a few things. It's really you shouldn't be messing with it. Uh, save data directory, copy params, parameter details, none of that shit is anything you will need ever, really, with these games. So, as far as Borderlands is concerned, that is your, your, your go-to right there um, with Patch SFO. That is how you change the title ID region. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, sorry for almost skipping it. Or decrypt it on save E, so I'm going to open up Gibbs now with Gibbs. Just download it from gib.me and basically just install it and run it because you don't have to do really shit to it. It's great. So double click on it. No administrator privileges. Of course, I do it with all mine just to make sure. 